Well, I'm burned out on painting as a whole, so this week I decided to take a look at my pile of whips and pick out something that I've had kind of sitting there for a little while. Um, if you can't tell what I'm holding, this is the torso and guitar of the latest Noise Marine sculpt from Games Workshop. And I had originally picked this up and started painting it on stream just because I was kind of bored but wasn't really inspired at the time to really go through with the entire project. So I started painting it, I got some base coats in, it was looking pretty clean but not really all that inspired. So now, now that I'm burned out, I'm going to pick it back up. And why did I do that? That's kind of what I want to talk about here, as well as the project. So the goal of this video and this week's project is not to finish a whole mini or to even really talk about the technique going into it, but kind of some of the reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing and what kind of burned me out of it. Well, probably the biggest reason for getting burned out is there's a lot of life going on around me right now. I'm trying to run my own businesses, I'm dealing with a lot of family stuff, and uh, trying to keep painting at the same time, so it's really hard to keep up with an artistic uh, venture like this for so long without eventually getting burned out. But on top of that, just some of the projects I've done recently have been really intense, uh, going through a large batch commission, at least for myself, was definitely a lesson learned, and a combination of life and recent projects has really kind of lent itself to it. On top of that, I've been a Twitch streamer for four years and I've taken a couple of months off from Twitch streaming just to help get everything kind of settled out at home. And even that's been kind of getting back to me where I want to get, get back on the horse. But uh, I've been continuing to create videos for YouTube in the meantime, which has been really fun and a learning experience as well. So that's kind of where I'm at. Now, is it wrong to feel this way? I don't think so. I think this happens to a lot of people, and not just in artistic endeavors, but also just in life or anything that they might enjoy. Either other things are kind of drawing them away from it, or they've just really gone too hard in the paint for it. Which is kind of odd for a Sonoshi kind of guy like me. But, you know, whatever. So here I am looking at my old pile and I said, why not pick up something that you had not completed before? And I had a few things that I've been kind of trying to pick at, but I really haven't been having fun with it. And so I just kind of flipped the table, found this one, which I wasn't really considering, and said, screw it, let's paint that for this week's YouTube video. On top of that, I really just wasn't happy with the way it was going from the first round of painting so I decided I would fix that this time so you can see I'm going in I'm recovering parts of it and just kind of painting over bits and pieces I'm adding in freehand detail as you'll see as I go oh here we are We're adding in some hazard stripes on one of the legs that I just painted over and uh, honestly once I got started this is really fun this this became an experiment in how do I rehabilitate this model and I love model rehab so just looking at an old whip that had gone stale, I said, I can fix this, I can have fun with this, and this would be a good way to kind of, you know, just flex the muscles and get a little practice in without really putting any stakes into it. So I wasn't quite happy with just kind of how simplistic I went with my normal liquefactor warband scheme. So I decided to go back in and add in a lot more purple and a lot more freehand. So here's the basic plan for how this marine is going down. We've recovered both shoulder pads. One shoulder pad is getting purple hazard stripes on the same side that the recolored uh, shin guard is also getting purpled hazard stripes. The other shoulder pad has been completely covered and given a freehand synthwave sunset. And the bottom leg has been covered with a purple with a blue to red fade. You'll see that close to the end of the video when we do a full dry fit. And 
after this video, because I haven't quite done it yet, I'm planning on Tiger Stripes. We'll see how that goes. I'll report back on social media. So, you know, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that shit. It's good times, right? So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at with this model and where I'm going. Oh, yeah, and I'm also adding in a lot of non-metallic gold in a few places. So here, the rings in its ear... earrings? Uh, they're kind of earrings, but it's a helmet. Um, and a few bits of the weaponry. And on top of that, also things that I haven't planned but we're not quite doing yet. We had completely repainted the guitar, given it a nice blend, and we're going to go back in on that and do some nice purple, pink, orange, yellow kind of flames on it. And I'm undecided right now if I want to do some sort of freehanding on it to make it a look a little bit more vaporwave slash synthwave. But, um,. We'll figure that out by the end of the project. Not a big deal for right now. I'm happy with the progress. And I'm particularly happy with the hair, which you can see me working on right now, bringing the yellow up. So the hair is kind of a fun thing, and I, I guess I will talk about it technically for just a moment. We went from a purple to a bright yellow. And if you're savvy with complementary colors, purple and yellow mixed together make yurple, which is a great brown. And uh, that... Uh, that transitionary tone, you can really bring that through a pink. So by bringing your purple warm into the red spectrum and then shifting into the red to the orange to the yellow spectrum, you can make a nice blend of purple to yellow and you just tighten in that pink, pinkish, orangish kind of transition and it makes it look real crispy. On top of that, we're bringing a drooky violet on a lot of pieces here. It works well over the green, works well in the hair, puts in some nice saturated shadows. Back to the topic at hand, burnout's kind of a pain. Have I been burned out before? For sure. Um, is it always a consistent way to get out of burnout? No, there's no real kind of magic, you know, spell or silver bullet to getting rid of burnout. It's really just figuring out what keeps you motivated and what keeps you moving. One of my big motivations is getting models out to practice and make videos and make social media content. So I'm always kind of striving to improve myself in all of those aspects at the same time. And it, it helps making these videos but it also helps just kind of knocking some fun stuff out. Part of the reason that I picked this one up is I also, not only was it trying new things, because I'm trying out some new freehand here, practicing my NMM, doing some blends and stuff, but it's also practicing some really kind of honed in comfortable techniques as well, which I always kind of find as a, as a helpful way to see if that can help me in. Sometimes I just pick up my warband, which I just continuously add stuff to, keep painting on, and then sometimes I pick up something completely random, whatever inspires me. Sometimes it's something that I'm playing, sometimes it's something that I just kind of have kicking around in the back. So don't, don't discount those old Reaper models that you might have banging around from D&D as something to get, get you back into the, uh, into the habit of painting for sure. So we're adding in little bits and pieces of metallic paint into the scheme. And just to be clear, this, uh, this video has taken place over five non-consecutive days as I've just been fitting in some time. And it actually happened around creating the last video. I started painting this uh, right before the last video was recorded. And then kept painting it afterwards. So this kind of encapsulates it. And just kind of wanted to show off what the end result is. So I'm going to take a little bit of blue tack after I get this silly putty off of off of my marine. There you go. There we go. 
and we'll continue working on this in the future so I may do another video on this I may not I really do like this noise marine and how it's turning out if you'd like to see me continue working on this on YouTube let me know otherwise I might just finish this up on twitch when I get back to streaming but uh, until next time enjoy your week have a great time painting if you can of course and we'll just finish this out on a nice dry fit <laughs>